You two, what's good? It's your boy 360 Jeezy. Wait a minute. Lens is dirty. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Lens is a little dirty here. All right. All right. Hold on. All right, YouTube. I did something different. I did something different. I faded up using no guidelines. Wait a minute. Hold on. Like I said, I use no guidelines. Uh, I just wanted to try something new. I try, I, I'm kind of like, you know, for anybody that wants to learn a different way on how to fade without using guidelines, this is basically the video for you. But uh, yeah, I, I feel like it came out real clean. Um, I kind of want to cut them again to see if the guideline way would have been better. But in the comment section below, let me know how clean it came out. Otherwise, stay tuned and watch, okay? Because it's, it's gonna be real interesting, right? It's gonna look kind of crazy at first, but in the end, okay, wait till the end. The end, it came out clean, all right? It's your boy 360 Jeezy. Stay tuned. YouTube so the first thing I'm gonna do is prop up the hair with my duck clips basically preparing the hair to be faded getting the hair out of the way um, just kind of prepping the hair like brushing everything down before I start cutting all right so the first thing you want to do is you want to clear out the bulk on the sides you want to get everything low enough so you can start blending up right now I got my one guard open I'm using my babyliss FX and I'm just clearing out that bulk on the sides Alright, so right now I'm setting in my bald line using my wall cordless detailers. Now I'm going to set it in in a contour way, not just straight back. I'm going to set it, um, basically dropping it back uh, below the occipital bone and just, you know, creating a different style look when it comes to uh, setting that bald line in. You don't want to make it look the exact same as everybody else's. You want to add some uniqueness to your blend. So right now I went ahead and got my Babyliss shavers just to make the bottom razor bald. This adds another transition to your blend. So right now I got my lever closed and I'm going up about a quarter inch and I'm just keeping it consistent all the way through. the lever halfway uh, basically the same thing going up a quarter inch and uh, making sure that I keep that same width all the way around so 
So again, with the lever open, I'm going up about a quarter inch and I'm basically going to be doing the same thing with all of these guards and the whole steps. I'm just going to be going up a quarter inch and just inching my way up, fading it basically so you guys can see that I'm not using any guidelines. So with the zero guard closed, I'm going up a quarter inch, making sure I keep it consistent all the way through. Using the zero guard open, I'm gonna go up a quarter inch, um, just like I did everything else. Um, I'm not going to um, necessarily put this one in the half uh, with the lever halfway, just because I feel like it's unnecessary. You could just close the lever, use the lever closed, and then open the levers with the guards. So using the same methods with the one guard closed, I'm going up about a quarter inch. So with the one guard open, I'm going to take off more bulk at that top, using the comb to feed the hair through the teeth of the blade and basically just going up from here because after this I'm going to clip or over comb the rest. Um, you really don't really need to go any higher uh, than the one guard because basically the, the clip or over comb acts as a two guard. So right now I'm gonna saturate my client's hair at the top, just at this top ridge area. And I'm just gonna saturate it with water just so I can get the hair to lay down. That way I could do some more clipper over combing and uh, you know, get the shape right. So I, now that I have everything laid, I'm gonna do some clipper over combing and basically I'm setting my comb um, at a 45 degree angle and I'm just taking off all of the hair that's sticking out. So right now, I got my one guard open and I'm clearing some more of that bulk at the top. Now that I did the clipper over comb, I see a lot of areas where I need to clean up. So right now, I'm going to make that um, top area a little bit lighter with the one guard open. Alright, so you guys, I'm going to keep it real with you right now. Like right now, there's a lot of areas where, you know, I need work at, you know, by blending up like this, um, it caused me to lose, you know, my, my angle on which where is where and what is what. 
You know what I mean? And at this point, it's like, you know, maybe, maybe I need to put down the clipper because it's getting real bad right now. Like, what am I doing? Okay, like, seriously. Like, is, is it gonna come out good? I mean, do I need to use the two guard, the one guard? Where, where? I, I'm lost here, okay? At this point, I'm lost. It's just, I'm, it's just like, man. I got to get paid, so I need I need to know how so I can fix this. Memo. George. But now you guys, real talk, I, I, I really am lost. But when it comes to, you know, cutting hair, you gotta know what what length of hair to what guard you need to use. Like basically right now I got on the zero guard closed and I'm basically flicking out that middle line that I see. Um, I'm gonna go back in and use my one guard and use it up where I see that bulk area where I'm attacking right now. And I'm just basically using hair length memory. Okay, that's a word. I just, I just came up with something new. You got to use hair length memory, okay? Basically, you remember what guard to what hair length it is by sight, all right? And that's basically what I'm doing to clean this up. So right now, I'm gonna take out the duck clips and saturate my client's hair with water. Um, and then I'm gonna start to set in my hard part. The reason why I'm applying the water first and then setting the hard part, it just, I don't know, it's just per a personal preference. I like setting the hard part in when my client's hair is wet. So one tip that I can give you guys when setting in this hard part is to remember that there's two sides to a hard part, two sides to a line. There's the bottom part in which I'm doing right now. And then there's the top part, which is closer to the longer hairs that are, that's on top. Make sure that you line up both sides. Now, when it comes to doing the shear work on top, I like to start in the front. My client wanted an inch off the top, so I'm gonna pull that up, take off an inch, use that piece in the front as a traveling guideline to work my way back. And I'm just gonna keep doing this until I'm all the way in the back. Now, as I get into the back, I'm basically cutting off a little bit more because I want the back to be shorter than the front. So now I'm gonna blow dry in style, um, just blow drying in the direction that I want the hair to go in.
YouTube, this is The Cut, and if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the beat, make sure you check out the link in the description below, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother, he does all my beats. Make sure you check him out. Also, if you find any tools that you've seen in this video, check out the links in the description below as well. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. My Snapchat is Jeezy360 and my Instagram is 360 Jeezy. But it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here. Chit.